I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in she might turn around what's up y'all i seem like every time i do that fire stick turns on this is 1028 awakenings and i'm back again with another motherfucking video had a really good conversation with my best friend a moment ago and um a lot of clarity insight sometimes we have a hard time saying hard things to the people that we love you know what i'm saying but when you love them you gotta say that because that's that's what proves that you love them you know what i mean that's that's what real love is so i i really did learn a little lesson today because sometimes you're like man i just want to avoid that shit, you know but you can't really do that like if you really care about somebody you got to be like, hey, man, this is this is what I'm feeling. Okay. All right. So let's get into it, Scorpios. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's cracking lucky. Okay. How does somebody feel about you at this time? All right. I heard my girlfriends. Somebody could have used to watch that show. I never watched it. My sister did. Um, She watched it all the time. She was like, I love that show. This video is sponsored to you guys by Rose Forever New York. I don't know if y'all noticed, but we got a little marathon going on. Like, hey, party over here. Somebody was like, go, Ashley, go, Ashley, go. Hey, go, Ashley, go, Ashley, go. He's a comedian. You got to invite me, man. Whenever you have whatever you got going on, you got to give me a ticket, okay? Because I love a good laugh. I love laughing okay i love comedy shows but you know most of the time i love them in the comfort of my own home i ain't gonna lie to y'all i do got a little bit of a work problem i just feel like you know at my house you can do work you know i can watch it take a break do some work watch it take a break get something to eat kick a little shit then go back to work you know what i'm saying i don't like going to the movies i gotta like super duper like you to go to the movies okay for real because i don't like it i don't like that you can't do nothing there. They be like, you on your phone. Damn, you over here. Ain't you supposed to be watching a movie? Let's get into it. How does person feel about you? <laughs> okay, because I didn't use my phone. My phone be going off. Okay. Uh, you are my missing piece. So, somebody, damn, they think about you too? Okay, so I ain't gonna see that come down. So, somebody really feel like they really miss you. You know, you that little pep in they step. You know, when somebody see you, they be skipping and shit. They be like, they ain't skipped in a while. You know, somebody ain't been... You know what I'm saying? Somebody didn't know how much like energy you bring to their life, okay? You they missing peace. I'm not ready to step out of my comfort zone yet, okay? So they do notice that since you been gone, you know, they've been sad and stuff, but they ain't ready to fold. They ain't ready to fold. You know, they real strong and strong. Whoever this is, they still wrong and strong, okay? But they do notice that they do miss you though. It says, I hope you can forgive me. Damn. Okay, so hold on. <laughs> okay, so this person did some fucked up shit to you, right? And then they miss you like, like damn, maybe I shouldn't have did that fucked up shit to you, <laughs> okay? Um, but they not really ready to hear whatever the fuck you got to say. So when it says ready to step out your comfort zone, this person do want to talk to you. They do want to communicate with you. They do want to do all that shit, but it's like... Do they even want to go through no, like, long ass, like, oh, I know what you did, let me... But you know what, Scorpio, the thing about you is you don't give a fuck. You already know. I think you just want that person to say, I'm sorry, be like, man, I shouldn't have did that shit. And as long as you feel that it's a sincere apology, you all right with it. Like, you ain't finna replay it because I think you already know it. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Okay. You are so beautiful to me. So somebody think about how you attracted, man. This person really is attracted to your outer appearance, okay? <laughs> that be coming up all week. The energy between us is, the energy between us felt amazing. So this person just feels like this is not something that they could like, you know, replicate in somebody else. It's like something that only you can do. And it says, I've been lying to myself for so long. So somebody been lying. They know they love your ass. They're like, damn, I love that motherfucker. Like, <laughs> This is a funny reading. Whoever 
prettinesses, they could be funny. Like whoever, when they talk to themselves inside their own mind, it's, it's, it's funny in there. It's hilarious. This could be your mind and I could be tapping into you, but somebody just feel like you really handsome. You look so fucking good. You know, they want to smooth it over with you. Like, you know, they know you already on some jug shit, but they know you like whoever this is, they know if you're going to be like telling the truth in this apology or lying in this apology. Okay. They can feel it, but I feel like y'all both can. Like somebody missed the connection. This is this is funny. Whoever this is, y'all make a it's a lot of joking between y'all. Y'all like y'all like each other, but y'all both goofy. You know what I'm saying? This nigga goofy, you goofy. I don't know. And you could like wearing this man's basketball shorts. Like you be putting on his basketball shorts. Okay. And sometimes you be like putting it on still and you know you shouldn't be wearing it because y'all not even talking to each other, but you like, I don't give a fuck. I'm sleeping with these tonight. Okay. I don't know. This is this is different, but maybe you be sleeping in the nigga shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, somebody is thinking about how like Y'all both may have, like, commitment issues, and that's a problem, you know? And, like, both of y'all, like, we just friends, but you not real friends. You could be more than friends. It could be, like, real gray area here, okay? So, somebody's thinking about how it's just no commitment. It's casual. It's open. It's just y'all friends, y'all networking, but they, that's not, they don't want none of that. They thinking about that shit, like, how they going, you know, this is really just saying, I don't really want to be exclusive, but I don't want you to use your pussy with nobody else. I'm not going to use my dick, but people going to talk to me and I might flirt with them, but I'm not going to touch them, you know, but they might try to touch my dick or suck my dick and I might let them do that, but I'm not going to put my dick inside of them. Like this is somebody who like, now nah, I don't know. I can't, you know, they don't, they don't know what to do. They don't want a relationship. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But they want a relationship. They don't want consistency, but they want consistency with you. This is a constant internal battle this motherfucker got commitment issues bro. okay commitment you got them too bro okay if somebody is you equal people are really attracted to each other you know what i'm saying but somebody somebody don't really fuck with nobody else this this is what this person like this dude could just be able to not do that this other person is not on that level you know they haven't mastered that part of them yet but they want to master it because they feel like they're gonna lose you if they do okay this is crazy. This is funny though. I talked to my um my jeweler guy and I'm like, look, we getting close to October. I need to get my grill. And he like, okay, but I think my jeweler like kind of my like my kind of like, like, like me though. You know what I'm saying? I don't know that for sure though. You know, but not today. Okay, so somebody somebody just feel like they want to apologize, but I'm telling you, they think that when you they come and apologize, you they gonna like okay, whoever this is. They have to tell you something. They have to reveal something. And they think that when they reveal it to you, you're going to be like, oh, when, where, what happened? But you're going to be like, man, I appreciate you telling me, bro. Yeah, I appreciate that. Or you might just be like, I understand. I really do. And that might be it. And then you might just, you know, fall into whatever y'all was at before. I think, Scorpio, you could just want this person to tell the truth. You don't really give a fuck about the details like that. Okay, but they like, man, I want to talk to you. But they like, man, not today, man. I don't want to have no conversation with nobody. They still angry. They going to be, yeah, dot, dot, dot. Like, somebody going to be like, bop, 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 bop. But, and this is somebody who already got bop, 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 bop. I don't know who talks like this. <laughs> but this is already, somebody had already been dragging this motherfucker and doing this. So he don't want to do, he just want to be in peace. Okay, and I think that when he think about peace, it's with you. But he going to have to come with uh some apologies and an explanation that makes sense to you and you gonna let that shit go simple as that but this person's scared they don't think you're gonna do that they think you're gonna be like ah, 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 ah. but you don't give a fuck bro you don't care you could be a female acting like this you just don't give a fuck you just want to be happy nigga okay and whoever this is they ain't had no inspiration until you left so this person also feel like you you really give them like i don't know you make them happy you you juice them up i keep seeing fucking power rangers are they airing that show? <laughs> okay. All right. We got happiness here. Okay. So somebody just wants you to do your job, you know? Like, if people don't come in your life and make you happy, why are you signing up to be miserable with these fuckers? I don't understand y'all. If somebody don't make me happy, I'm like, nigga, you got to go. Yeah. You, today. <laughs> no, 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 no. Right now. <laughs> okay. Because what's your job? 
you doing it or you not, okay? So somebody like the fact that you be telling the truth, okay? They want to reconcile with you because they feel like their well-being been thrown off ever since. And then they feel like the universe been just been like Ashley's furniture. You know, nigga name just been everywhere. Like, God damn. And this is somebody who, you know, they, they with strength here in reverse, they're, it's getting weak. They're getting weaker, you know? Like, they want to come towards you and they trying to build up a united front. But when you flaw, like, how the fuck you going to be strong and flaw? Y'all got to check this vibe. If this you, don't move like this. You did something wrong to somebody be like, hey, man, you ain't got to come back to me. But I just want to tell you, like, sorry for the fuck shit I did. I shouldn't have did that. You was a good person. Simple. That shit ain't for them. It's for you, motherfucker. Bye. It won't stop. Even when things get hard, I will never fold. I'm making my own title. I'm making my own way.